It is well understood that as a descending lightning leader approaches, ground structures produce upward discharges that rise up to meet the descending leader. Although the descending leader moves under its own power, its speed governed by its own charge characteristics, the upward leader is a byproduct of the descending leader. The speed of the upward leader is governed by their relative proximity. The closer they get, the faster it moves. Given that the speed of the upward leader is determined by its proximity to the descending leader, if an upward leader is launched early, when the descending leader is still too far away to propel a natural leader upward, any artificial leader launched under these conditions would move very slowly if it moves at all. Even if the artificially enhanced electric field at the tip of an ESE is sufficient to generate a leader early, the natural ambient electric field remains insufficient to drive that early leader upward. There's no reason to assume that launching a leader early is of any benefit. Claims of an enhanced protection radius as calculated in the French National Standard NFC 17-102 are not supported by any credible scientific theory. An ESE should provide about the same zone of protection as a sharp-tipped lightning rod of the same dimensions installed at the same location. This should explain all of the claimed successes and all of the reported failures.